Hi, my dear people. It's so good to be back here again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, this is Saffron Media, and we're here to give you the best, the most trending, exciting, reliable, and authentic happenings in Nigeria, especially in the area of politics and many more. So stay tuned, relax, enjoy, and get the best from here. And uh, remember that... uh, uh, Sheikh Sheikh Gumi has uh, been one of the um, should we call him a mediator between the uh, government and uh, bandits that is terrorists that is especially the Boko Haram and uh, you know he has been coming back to give reports on what the uh, terrorists really need from the government and all of that and you know people keep wondering why is this man able to reach out to all of these uh, terrorists and uh, negotiate with them make dialogue with them and yet the government is not doing anything about it and that alone has been a lot of issue on its own and uh, this time around remember that some of the uh, terrorists and bandits are actually requesting for amnesty why some came out as repentant Boko Haram and bandits and you know they have brought in their families over a hundred and you know a lot of Nigerians have been saying that the government should not fall prey of these guys because they might just be out to destroy the country just to pretend like they have repented but let's uh let, we're still hoping that that is not their intention but a lot of people like me i don't believe that these guys should be granted amnesty because they have actually terrorized this country for a very long time so it is past the time they should be given any form of amnesty or any form of uh dialogue for them to be freed or for them to be forgiven but uh, of course the apc governors forum reject amnesty for bandits and they said nothing would or nothing uh, would make them agree for bandit to be granted amnesty any longer yes a lot of the governors have had a fair share of you know all of this in their state so i guess that is why they are going against the president muhammad buhari but anyway let's get into the details of this and see uh, what exactly and why the governors are actually against the president in this matter you know it is the apc uh, government anyway guys please ensure you subscribe Give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell, like, and also share this video. All right, it says right here that the Director General of the Progressive Governors Forum, PGF, which is the umbrella of the governors select, elected on the platform of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Dr. Salihu Lukman, has slammed controversial Cardinal State based Islamic cleric Sheikh Abubakar Gomi for demanding amnesty for bandits causing mayhem in the northern region. Lukman describes Gomi's position as a threat to national security and a self-service venture in a statement titled Nigerian Democracy and Challenges of Nation Building. Lukman also faulted Gomi's comparison of bandits in the north with Niger Delta militants. He explained that bandits cannot be placed on the same pedestal with Niger Delta militants granted amnesty by the Umar Musa Yaradua's late administration. He added all arms of the security agencies are fully mobilized and are working in coordinated way to crush the bandits in Zamfara, Katsina and Kaduna Forest. Interestingly, however, some Nigerian leaders have dismissed the military campaign going on to crush the bandits. So-called media commentators, religious and other leaders have discredited decision of government to shut down communication services markets, ATC, in the states where the military operations are taking place. A religious leader has already proclaimed that the military operations against the bandits will fail. What, what a John Dist view. Maybe Nigeria should return to the era where hundreds of millions meant for arms procurement to fight insurgency, banditry, and other criminality will be diverted and given to religious leaders for prayers. Instead of mobilizing security agencies to fight criminals, resources being redeployed to fight insecurity in the country should be given to religious leaders to pray for the bandits to come back to their senses. This is perhaps what Sheikh Gomi is preaching when he insists that government should grant amnesty to bandits in the north just the way the administration of late uh, President Musa Yaradua handed Niger Delta militants.
Anybody who urges this who argue this way is already part of Nigeria's national security problem. Nigeria needs to rise to the challenge of regulating the conduct of so-called leaders, including religious clerics. Being jaundiced makes most of these leaders to be antagonistic to initiatives towards nation building. Beyond religious clerics, there are other categories of leaders in the country with similar jaundiced views. Individuals who in their rights count as elders and have paid their dues to this country have become very vocal against virtual, virtually against every decision and action of the government. However, one looks at it, there is no way a nation can be built with leaders and elders whose views are antithetical to national development. Nigerians cannot be facing the challenges of insecurity and some leaders are working to undermine the efforts of the government to crush the criminal element responsible for the all pain citizens are going through, including the loss of lives and properties of citizens. Anytime leaders dismiss actions of government against bandits and insurgents, they embolden these criminals to continue with their nefarious activities. Yes, Nigerians may be angry with the government and our political leaders. On no account should anyone take advantage of the anger of Nigerians to furtively support criminal activities. There must be some defined boundaries to this debate if at all the Nigerian nation is to have a common purpose and a strong national bond. In a related development, the Buhari media organization had advised Sheikh Ahmed Gumi to shut up and desist from distracting the country with his clamor for amnesty for bandits at a time the Nigerian military authorities are pounding the criminals in their hideouts. In a statement signed by its chairman, Niyi Akinsiju and Security Secretary Kasidi Madwe KM. BMO said that there is no basis of for the administration of President Buhari to order a stop to ongoing military actions in the forest of Zamfara State and adjoining areas. The statement reads in part Many Nigerians, we are concerned that the Islamic cleric should be vocal enough to say that the bandits were going nowhere in spite of ongoing air and ground assaults on their position. Sheikh Gumi has, by those comments, confirmed his description as the patron saint of criminal elements that had for some time held some state in the northwest hostage. Is it not strange that a religious leader should be so supportive of bandits that are known to have Polished communities in the far north, waylaid travelers on highways, kidnapped people, including students, for ransom, and even ended up killing their hostages after collecting ransom. We wonder where the sheikh was when those who, who the Zamfara state governor, Belo Matawali, and his Kastina state counterpart, Aminu Belo Masari, granted pardon, returned to the forest to resume their lives of criminality. Well, obviously, you can see that it is indeed a problem now that uh, so many people are involved in this. But like what is said here, a lot of, you know, uh, elites and other former leaders, they should stand strong and stop putting efforts that um, criminals and bandits should be granted amnesty. Well, guys, I want to hear from you. Drop your comments. Let's hear from you and also give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.